Open Broadcaster Software OBS is a free and open source streaming and recording program maintained by the OBS project. The program has support for Windows 7 and later, MacOS 10.10 and later, and Ubuntu 14.04 and later. Topic Overview OBS is a free and open source software suite for recording and live streaming. Written in C and C++, OBS provides real-time source and device capture, scene composition, encoding, recording, and broadcasting. Transmission of data is primarily done via the Real-Time Messaging Protocol and can be sent to any RTMP supporting destination, including many presets for streaming websites such as YouTube, Twitch.tv, Instagram and Facebook. For video encoding, OBS is capable of using the X264 free software library, Intel Quick Sync Video, NVIDIA NVENC and the AMD Video Coding engine to encode video streams into the H.264, MPEG-4 AVC format and the H.265, HEVC format. Audio can be encoded using either the MP3 or AAC codecs. Advanced users can choose to use any codecs and containers available in LibavCodec, Libav format as well as output the stream to a custom FFmpeg URL. Topic: User interface. The main user interface is organized into five sections: scenes, sources, audio mixer, transitions, and controls. Scenes are groups of sources like live and recorded video, text, and audio. The mixer panel lets the user mute the audio, and adjust the volume through virtual faders, and apply effects by pressing the cogwheel next to the mute button. The control panel has options for starting, stopping a stream or recording, a button to transform OBS to a more professional studio mode see below, a button for opening the settings menu and a button to exit the program. The upper section has a live video preview, used to monitor and edit the current scene. The user interface can be switched to dark or light theme depending on what the user prefers. When in studio mode, there are two scene preview windows, the left one for modifying and preview of non-active scenes, while the right window is for preview of the active scene, in the middle there is a secondary transition button, allowing for transitioning to the non-active scene in the left window. There are some simple tutorials in the Internet that shows how to use open broadcaster software. History Open Broadcaster Software started out as a small project created by Hugh Jim Bailey, but quickly grew with the help of many online collaborators working both to improve OBS and spread the knowledge about the program. In 2014, development started on a rewritten version known as OBS Multiplatform, later renamed OBS Studio, for multiplatform support, a more thorough feature set, and a more powerful API. As of v18.0.1 of OBS Studio, OBS Classic is no longer supported due to the former reaching near full feature parity with the latter, though the download for Classic is still available. Topic: Plugins. Open Broadcaster software supports a variety of plugins to extend its functionality. Plugins are loaded as native code DLL files, although a wrapper plugin is available that allows hosting of plugins written in the .NET framework. Topic: See also. Direct Show X264 
Screencast Comparison of screencasting software <laughs>